Hello, my wonderful Taurus. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can just clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay. Alrighty guys, so we have two cards for you. Uh, we have Daydreaming, I'm always longing for you. I'm pretty sure that Scorpio pulled this card as well. Uh, so some of you could be involved with the Scorpio. And the second card we have is Chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Okay. So this could definitely be like a runner chaser dynamic, um, but I do see a lot of missing also, okay? So someone who is still thinking about you, um, you know, despite the uh, distance here. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the page of pentacles, uh, split the deck and we have the lovers, okay? So some of you, there could be an age gap in this bond here. We do see the page of pentacles um, and with the lovers, you could be involved with a Gemini. I feel like this person could be reaching out to you because a page of pentacles could be, you know, a message or an offer. But with the lovers, you may have a choice, you know, to make here. Let's see if these cards come out again. For my Taurus in separation. Let's see. The four of cups. Okay. Okay. So this person is viewing you as maybe someone who is potentially not emotionally invested at this time. Maybe there's more of a focus on the past here. But the Four of Cups could also speak about, uh, you know, growing impatient with the situation, maybe becoming bored, okay? So it's like if you have been waiting on communication or if you have been waiting for things to move to the next level, it's like they may sense you're getting very sick and tired of waiting. And it's interesting because the second card there is Chaser, I don't want to chase anymore. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords, <clears throat> and the Hanged Man. Yeah, this is definitely someone who is kind of trying to figure out how you feel, how you view the situation as of right now. And I will say, guys, with the Knight of Swords as well as the Nine of Wands, this is someone who goes back and forth in their mind about communicating with you or remaining guarded. And I think they let their self down by not communicating with you because clearly the complacent energy is affecting them. Um, because they feel like it's affecting you. They feel like, you know, the fact that things were complacent for a while, the way that you perceive them is how you perceive them due to their past actions. That's how they feel. Because the four of cups, it speaks about focusing on the three cups here and not what's in what's in front of that person there. So I feel like, you know, your person may feel you have frustration towards the past or there's something here that, you know, you're feeling like I'm not really over something that happened or something is still very fresh on my mind. <clears throat> so we have the sun card some of you could be dealing with the leo and we also have the five of pentacles what's on the bottom of the deck the two of cups the moon card What's hidden from you is definitely going to come to light. We see the moon and we see the sun. So if there's, you know, a particular question or maybe you feel like there was a lot of emotions involved, but they were more so suppressed. I see them, you know, uh, like I see those emotions coming to light or some sort of a confession. Because two of cups, this person feels very connected to you and two of pentacles. They're trying to figure out how to approach this. Hermit. Eight of Swords, yeah. They feel very mentally stuck, guys. As much as they spend a lot of time thinking about you, as much as they spend a lot of time in solitude thinking about the situation, they feel very stuck. So we do have the Sun card, which, you know, could be that your person is being reminded of very positive memories, Two of Cups, the Sun card still feeling very connected to you. Five of Pentacles, though, it does speak about someone who feels like they are currently an outsider, you know, when it comes to your life. So they have a lot of questions about what you're up to, but they feel like they don't have access to you, which is not really surprising coming up in a no communication spread. But I just feel, guys, there is a lot of missing. There is a lot of longing. This person is trying to fill a void. They feel very alone when they think about this situation. Okay, so what is the Four of Cups? The Four of Swords. 
You guys could be seeing double or uh, triple fours. We have the Six of Cups, the Lovers again, and the Five of Wands. This person knows they need to make a choice, but they're very conflicted. They could also feel like there's something going on in their environment that they have to wrap up before they can, you know, uh, give you their undivided attention here. Because five of wands could be either like drama, conflict, some sort of a chaotic energy in your external environment, but it's impacting you. All right. And then we have the six of cups and the lovers. Yeah. They're feeling very nostalgic. I will say like this person is definitely missing you, possibly, you know, um, being reminded of you, uh, taking a trip down memory lane, that sort of thing. Could even be revisiting pictures or like old text messages here, but they feel very connected to you. And with the lovers, again, that's someone who knows they're attracted to you. They know that there's this magnetic pull, but there's a choice that needs to be made. So the Four of Swords clarifying the Four of Cups here, guys. I feel like your silence is definitely affecting this person because they're assuming the worst case scenario. Or they're assuming that the fact that you guys are not speaking right now, your emotions have changed. I do see them questioning your interest, kind of like you know, is Taurus as invested as they were, you know, before? Do they still care about the situation the way that I do? I see those questions crossing your person's mind here. And with the Four of Swords, they're, again, trying to heal. They're trying to um, let go of any negative thoughts or like a repetitive thought that they keep thinking about every single day. That's what they're working on here. Um, what is the Sun card? The Lovers, yeah. I think what's uh, being brought to clear or what uh, your person is, you know, receiving clarity on right now is a choice that they need to make. You know, the sun speaks about illumination. It's when you need to, you know, do something or there's some sort of knowledge coming forward, um, but it's much needed. With the lovers, they're, not only are their emotions resurfacing, they're starting to realize they need to make a choice. It seems like the choice that this person needs to make is very large. So this may require this person to relocate in order to be with you. This may require them to leave an old lifestyle behind, but it's something that will affect them. And it will affect them just as much if they don't make that decision because again, the lovers is like a milestone. It's something that you will remember. But again, it is a life-altering decision here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords, the Judgment, the Ten of Swords. It seems like sep you know some sort of separation or a pause in this connection was divine intervention. It's like some of you feel like you were trying to, uh, you know, figure something out or you felt very betrayed here, but you, you know, this break is much needed. With the Page of Swords, I see that your person is still definitely, you know, keeping tabs on you, but judgment could be read as divine intervention. Ten of Swords is more so betrayal, going through something on your own. Something coming to an end, but you feeling like, wow, I'm so hurt. I feel so alone. And behind that, we have the Two of Wands. It seems like your person may be deciding between two directions here, guys, right? And it doesn't mean you versus someone else. It could just mean it, both options could be uh, towards you, but the approach could, could be different. I see this person needing to make a choice. And this could also be someone who is um, at a distance from you, like, like physically. So it could be a long distance union. But I just see that this person feels like there needed to be a pause in this bond here before things got worse. But they're very hurt by the fact that you guys are not speaking is the best way for me to explain this energy. What is the five of pentacles? Yeah, two of wands. And we also have the devil that wanted to come out. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn bottom of the deck here, the ten of cups, the four of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. They view you as someone who's holding back. Like you're not investing in this right now. Of course, we're in a no communication spread, but they also may view you as someone who who feels like something doesn't feel realistic here or something doesn't feel attainable, okay? So they view you as viewing the situation um, in a way where you are only a, like you feel a bit limited. Like you're like, I can only do so much or I can meet you halfway and it's up to you to meet me you know, halfway, or I can't just do this on my own. Like they feel like you're, you're feeling limited when it comes to your options of what to do or how to move things forward. Um, Ten of cups. Yeah. This is someone who still desires you, but let's talk about the two of wands and the devil. Taurus, this person definitely has two directions that they could possibly that were, or like an option here, a choice, right? We're seeing this twice now, but with the devil, what's interesting is there may be something that your person's having a hard time releasing. So when the devil comes up, guys, it does speak about, you know, attachments, you know, maybe addictions in some cases, but it's like 
knowing something is unhealthy, but feeling very attached to it or feeling like they have no other choice. There's something about limitations here. And I do feel like it's limitations that your person is placing upon their self. All right. So it could be something that's going on in their mind with that swords energy there. Or they feel like, again, we did see the five of wands. Something is going on in their environment where, they, when they, where they're like, okay, I want to do this. I want to find a solution, but I need to deal with this first or I need to deal with that first. You know, that kind of energy. But I do see that they're trying to part ways with someone or something that no longer serves them. And that's why I feel like they're kind of at a fork in the road. There's, it's like, okay, do I go direction A or direction B? I also feel like your person could be having a very hard time seeing past illusions at this time. And so the things that they're telling themselves in their mind could be what's causing like, um, you know, a mindset of fear. So even if they're telling themselves something negative in their mind, it doesn't make it true or the reality of the situation. But if they tell themselves that enough, they would convince themselves to believe so is what I'm getting at here. So let's clarify the devil. The three of pentacles bottom of the deck here the page of cups the seven is yeah you know what stresses this person out handling something in an immature manner feeling like they did not either like uh the way they would act towards you was very unpredictable or like their emotions were very unpredictable again guys absolutely no judgment but someone here could have been very moody during the course of this bond here Okay, and then we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Nine of Swords also. So I feel like for many of you, there could have been dishonesty where it, you know, you may not trust this person. You may feel connected to them. You may feel like the memories are there, but you don't trust them with that Seven of Swords or you feel like they have something up their sleeve, right? It's like this person may be someone who has like a sense of innocence to them with that Page of Cups energy, but you feel like behind that there is like a very smart strategic person or this is how you view them like they may come off very lighthearted, make you laugh very charming good with their words but you do feel like they're dealing with something behind the scenes that they're not really being upfront about so the devil being clarified by the three of pentacles is your person feeling like they want to work with you but not knowing how you guys are going to come to a mutual understanding okay the second thing here could be they want to work with you but there's someone else in the picture and they're trying to keep that keep that person at bay or have that person not cause any havoc in the bond that you guys share. And that's only going to apply to those of you that, that know that your person is involved with someone else, or they're still like dealing with an ex lover or, you know, emotions that haven't necessarily left on, you know, their person's end here. Cause it could be like, they want to work with you, but there's someone else here that they feel like they have to keep happy or at least keep at a neutral state. Cause with the devil, they're avoiding conflict. They're avoiding, um, you know, something that feels very unhealthy here. That's what they're trying to avoid. So what is the Four of Swords? The Queen of Cups. This could be a water sign that you guys are involved with. Five of Swords, Eight of Cups, Emperor. The way that this per like the separation happened, that's what they're conflicted about. Five of Swords, Eight of Cups, you know, emotionally detaching, walking away, the Emperor. Again, guys, there's something about like limiting beliefs or like this person feeling like something is out of their control. Um, you know, with the Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups, they the way that things ended doesn't sit well with them. So whether that was on their end, walking away with no explanation, whether that was on your end, Taurus, they do feel very conflicted. Five of Wands. This person could be very like frustrated at this time. Like they have a like they have a lot of responsibilities or they um you know there's like so many mixed thoughts and 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 feelings that they have where they're getting frustrated with their uh you know external circumstances but mainly what I see here Taurus is like someone who's like that's not how things should have ended. So even if they walked away from you and this is your energy where you feel like things were abrupt, they regret walking away from you without an explanation. It's like every time they think about what you know the emotional detachment or the disconnect here they they become very conflicted like they may have a couple of things they still want to say or you know they may feel bad for the way that you know they've um ended things or the way that things ended between the both of you um very conflicted about it so with the queen of cups clarifying the four of swords i do feel like this is someone who's operating from a space of emotions um and it's someone who wants to like nurture you they want to be there for you they feel like there's like a very strong connection between the both of you when it comes to understanding each other 
um, specifically on like an emotional level. Like this is someone who may say, oh, you know what? Yeah, I know how you feel. Or they feel like when they tell you something that they're upset about, you have a way of, you know, making them feel understood. So I do see that the emotional connection here is very strong. What is the lovers? The emperor. Three of wands, queen of wands, king of cups, two of swords. There's like a clash in your in your lifestyles or your belief system. I do see that here. Like maybe like you feel like the emotions are here, but there's something that doesn't feel stable. It's almost like on your end, when you think about the situation, you feel like there's only so much you can do. And it's interesting because your person feels limited as well. You know, um, and with the devil card, again, they could be trying to release something. They could be in the middle of something while they're still have you, while they still have you on on their mind. But something about this connection feels like like the both of you. One thing that you guys are mirroring is like you feel like it's very limited, like what you guys can do to move forward, the options, the solutions. And it's like even though you guys are not speaking to each other, you guys are still weighing very heavily on each other's mind here. For some of you, this person may feel like you have the upper hand in this situation, okay? Um, that's just for some of you, though. What's the two of wands? And another blockage here could be, like, with the emperor, like, one person here, right, guys? Again, it's in the middle, so I'm not playing the blame game. I'm just telling you guys, you know, the energy. But it's like one person here could have a very particular way of doing things. Or they're, it's kind of like my way or the highway, you know, wanting something to transpire in a very particular manner where the other person's kind of like trying to you know go with the flow so that could be a clash as well like you may like that this person is light-hearted they're fun but you also maybe a part of you wishes that they would be a little bit more certain or firm in in what they tell you like you do like that youthful fun side of them but you also want to see more emotional maturity two of wands The moon yeah a lot is being revealed to your person here i also feel like guys like in this connection maybe there was a lot of secrets you know the moon is still upright with the five of pentacles the two of wands what could have caused a disconnect between the both of you could have definitely been the the secrecy or the suppression of emotions because it seems like you guys were feeling the emotions but it was almost like okay what's felt doesn't need to be or what's understood or what's felt doesn't need to be explained but then again it was like there was also a part of you that maybe wanted to have a heartfelt conversation. Maybe there was a part of you that felt like everything seems okay, but I could just sense that this person is going through something or they are not telling me everything. And that could have, again, caused a disconnect. It's like the lack of openness is pretty much standing out in this spread here. So it's not to say the emotions weren't there, but, you know, again, if your person was battling something or they currently are with the devil card, it's, it's like they're not communicating that to you. And that could obviously rub you the wrong way. But with the sun and the moon, like a very powerful connection, guys. There's a lot of, like you guys have a way of balancing each other out um, and kind of meeting each other halfway. But it seems that with the devil upright, um, you know, as well as the four of cups, the moon, there's a lot of secrecy. There's a lot of maybe back and forth, uh, downplaying emotions, that sort of thing. And again, with the devil, like your person feels like they have like a monkey on their back when it comes to you know, moving things forward or when it comes to being or working in a team with you. Uh, what's the three of pentacles? The four of pentacles, yeah. That's why there's that constant energy of do I reach out or do I hold back? Four of pentacles um, as your last card and four of cups as your first card says a lot. You know, I think that this person may be um, you know, feeling like there's a lack of interest on your end or they feel like the passion or the excitement as when this relationship started. Now it's at a point where there's a lot of, you know, secrecy, where there's a lot of questions. And so it's like, do I reach out or do I hold back? I feel like your person, when they hold back, they do feel let down by the fact that they're holding back. I will say that. Um, but when you have the sun as well as the moon, it's kind of extreme energies. It's like there are certain things that are coming to light, but there are certain things that, um, you know, your person is struggling with telling you at this time. And it could be because what they're working through, 
um, is still active, like they're actively still working through it. It's not over. It's not done. It's still a part of them because the devil is upright. Um, so let's see what they want to communicate to you. And again, guys, the second card that came out for you guys is I don't want to chase anymore. So with the four of cups, like you could have quite literally told this person, like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I do like you, but if you want to, you know, a be in a bond, we got to work on this together. I no longer want to play the guessing game, the waiting game, the whatever game it is. I just want it to be more straightforward. And so, you know, if that's not what happened, maybe some of you are like, you know what? I'm throwing my hands up. I don't know what to do right now. Again, it goes back to feeling very limited. Okay, so what does this person want to tell Taurus? I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, so this could have been this could have been someone who was um, keeping their emotions a secret because they were like it's it could be a case of self sabotage, right? Bottom of the deck, it says you and I were too young, so it could be this could be someone you've known from childhood. Or they just feel like there was some sort of immaturity, emotional immaturity involved when you guys were, you know, first, uh, you know, uh, speaking to each other and that sort of thing. But I do feel like this may be someone who tried to maybe abandon the situation because they assumed that it wouldn't work out in their favor to begin with. So again, you know, in other words, self-sabotage. I'm so attracted to you, Okay. And we do see that with the sun as well as the lovers. The lovers is like when you feel a magnetic pull towards someone and you can't even figure out why, but you're just always so drawn to them. So I do see that uh, there. Let's see. Anything else? I love you unconditionally. So there is... There are a lot of emotions here. And then it says, I am grateful for this spiritual lesson. They may feel like they've learned a lot. You know, this relationship was a catalyst for their growth. I do feel like this may be a bond here where it has taught them to release what no longer serves them. Or someone here could have learned that they, you know, they have to go after what they desire and they can't just be stuck in a situation because they're comfortable. You know, we have the devil, we have the three of pentacles. It's like your person is trying to keep more than one person happy or they're trying to avoid conflict. Um, and maybe that's what's, you know, in the way here as well. But I do see that you've taught this person a lot. Um, bottom of the deck, and it says, you were the best thing in my life. Okay, guys. So my wonderful Taurus, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And thank you so much for your time.